Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at Android emulator setup in Visual Studio 2019 for Xamarin Android application developments. Before we get started, please, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do. So let's get to it then. The Android emulator can be run in a variety of configurations to, to simulate different devices. Each configuration is called a virtual device. So when you deploy and test your application on the emulator, you select a pre-configured or custom virtual device that simulates a physical Android device, such as Pixel phone and whatnot. So in this particular video, we will look at getting um, downloading and installing the emulator and configuring it and also building our first i mean android application using the emulator so that we can test our i mean building the Andro uh, xamarin android ab application using a visual studio template and we can test it on the emulator so let's get started before we can even start configuring the emulator we need to make sure that we have a xamarin development environment installed so we can check that by opening the visual studio 2019 the latest version so i've got mine open so if you haven't make sure you do so we come inside uh extensions i mean uh the, the tools and then we can click on the get get tools and features So once we click on that, we get the Visual Studio installer opened. So here, we'll be able to check if we ha already have the Xamarin development installed. Otherwise, we can um, download and install it. So we can scroll down and make sure that we have this bit installed, uh, checked, downloaded and installed. So mobile development with .NET. So this is the Xamarin platform or Xamarin framework that we, we, we're going to use so after this bit here once you download and install this bit here then we can close it so once we close it then to be able to get started we have to come inside the tools again so once we click on the tools we come inside the Android, but, that, but if we've actually installed the Xamarin, we should get this, this bit here coming up. So, okay, before we even do that, we have to actually check one thing, one more thing. So we need to check if our computer is a multi-core processor, at least i3 or i5 of the Intel generations will be fine. And you have to also make sure your computer is a Hyper-V compatible. So if that's the case, then we can up, we can go to the start or the, the type search at, of our windows. Then we're going to type in feature. So in this case, we get the, the turn windows features on or off. So we click on this bit here. So we should get a bunch of windows features. So we scroll down, we look for, okay, we look for Hyper-V we open it so we got to make sure that we have both of these boxes checked and we click OK so once you click OK you got to make sure that you restart your computer for the changes to take effects before you come back to this part so once you restart your computer for the changes to take effects we open the Visual Studio again right so once that is done, so we're going to the Android bit here, tools and then Android. So we come inside the Android SDK manager. So once the SDK manager is open, so as you can see here, we've got a bunch of um, API levels of Android that we can actually download. So as you can see here, I've, I've checked the first four boxes, the, the Android 10, 9, 8.1, 8.0. 
So I'm just going to check the 7.1 to see what sort of effects that you're going to get. So as you can see, once you click on this bit here, so you can add a bunch of stuff to it. You can add the intel and whatnot. But that's not that's not what we're actually here for. So once you once you checked on this box, yes, you can you can click on the apply changes for the for the changes to take effect. So we come inside this tool here, these tools here. So here you gotta make sure that you check these boxes. The Android SDK tools, the Android SDK platforms, Android SD, SDK build tools. So that one we can actually expand it. So as you can see here, I've got Android SDK build tools 29.0.2 uh, installed here, the version 29. And I've also got a version 28. So, so as you can see here, the version 29, I've got the latest bit or the latest version installed. So you can install a bunch of SDKs here for the next stage. So we can we can close this expansion. Then we're gonna have to come back, we're gonna have to come inside this extras here. So the extra we we can check this box. Google USB driver. This is this will allow you to connect your Android device, your your, your physical Android device. To Visual Studio directly using the uh, using the uh, USB port, and then you can't you scroll all the way down here. So here you gotta check these two boxes here: Intel 86 Emulator Accelerator, HAXM Installer. So this 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 just um, something that we're gonna talk about. So this is um, the HASM. Is a is a hardware acceleration for emulator performance right so how to prepare your computer for maximum Android emulator performance by using either the hyper V or the HASM virtualization technology because the Android emulator can be prohibitively slow without hardware acceleration so once you've actually checked this bits here then you can click on the apply changes so once the changes have been applied then we can close this SDK then we can up, we're gonna open the same bit here the tools Android then Android device manager so here we can get a bunch we can create a bunch of Android devices so as we can see here your devices will appear here so I've got no device um, shown here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the new here so this creates a new device so I'll get the new device dialog here so here you can make all the configuration changes to, to what is that the system or to what is that Android device you want to use so we start from the left bit here so here you can change the name you can change the name to whatever name that you want to give it so I mean, I'm gonna make it Android emulator 202 so it's just a just a, a, a normal given name so here you can select the base device so the base device to which you want your emulator to be created so as you can see I've got a bunch of pixel phones Android Wear and Android TV scroll up here as you can see we've got more multiple devices so you actually choose what device that that you want to use so we got, I'm gonna so pixel pixel Excel so I'm just gonna leave it as it is here I'm not I'm not going to change that part here so here too you can select the OS so as you can see you've got a bunch of Android um, API levels that you could use so in this case we're just gonna leave it at 9.0 API level 28 yeah so we're just gonna leave this bit here we come to this main part here so here we could actually scroll here to the hardware RAM size so here is, is about let's say about one gig RAM so we're gonna I'm gonna make it if you've got a, a 
a considerable amount of RAM on your PC, then you can you can make you like, you can leave it at at one, but we're just gonna make it two gig RAM. Yeah, so I'm just gonna leave it here like this. So if you scroll down, there you can see some other other stuff that you can other changes that you can make. But we're just gonna leave it as it is here, and you can also make changes to, to the SD card of the uh, device. So now that we've got this bit sorted out, we we can create now. So bear in mind that we've got the the processor to be edited. So we we click on the create. So as you can see now, we have we have the emulator downloaded. I mean and installed. So we can get it started by clicking on this part, this button start here. So now we can click on the start, and we can we should get the emulator started. So as you can see, I/O error occurred while trying to read a file. It showed that file fixes. So the process. So, so this is just some some error, but I'm just gonna close it. Let's see what actually comes out. So as you can see, we have the emulator starting or started. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna post the video for the for the whole thing to load up. It might take a while, so we're just gonna hold on a bit. So as you can see now, we have the emulator started and it's working fine. So as you can see, it's, it's, um, it's still preparing for setup. So um, the bunch of the Android um, installation is still being done. So we're just gonna leave it as it is here now. So now we, we can come back inside the Visual Studio, create a, a, a new project. So here we could select all languages and mobile for mobile applications. So now we can select any Android application just to just to test it. So we're just gonna select the first Android application, just normal Android application. So we just go we go ahead and create it. I'm not gonna explain this bit. If you want to watch it, so we just gotta select any any um template just to use. So we click on OK here. So we wait for the application to create. Or to be created so once created you get this dialogue here getting started with um, Xamarin so the best way to develop an app is with a physical device so this is actually asking whether you've actually connected your physical device or you want to use the emulator so in this case we're going to use the emulator so we click on this bit here so we set up the emulator so now we've actually got the emulator start um, set up so there's no there's no point to set that up so as you can see here, Android Emulator 2.2, you see that, is, that that is showing, yeah? So that means we've got the emulator live. So we can we can run this application by clicking on F5 or this this part here. So I'm just gonna, as it's being built or created, I'm just gonna pause it because it might take a while while the whole thing just works out. So as you can see now, we've got the, whole, the deployment started and it's been installed inside our, the application has been installed now inside our Android um, device. So we can, as you can see here, we've, we've got the application working fine and it's been running on our device. So we can see the whole thing nicely running. So this is where I will leave the, I mean, I will, I will sign off the video. So I hope this actually helps you to get started with the um, Android emulator and to be able to create your first Android application and, and run it. So if you're still here, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Like or dislike the video and I hope to catch you on my next video. You can also drop a line if you if you have any 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 errors or comments. So have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, day, wherever you are. Stay blessed. And also, my apologies for the for the for the microphone. I'm still trying to sort that out. But today I'm actually recording from outside, so you might hear a little bit of bird whistling and stuff. But it's it's all good. I hope you get the you get through the whole video. So.
Bye-bye.